Well, it's another day with the bower birds and the bower. And it's a slightly different one. This is a long film because uh, I think, I hope you might find it of interesting to see another day on which a male but still green bower bird, I think that's what this bird is, not a female, is learning a lot of things about managing the bower. Now it's obvious at the beginning that the black mature male satin bower bird is out and this bird, a green bird, who could be almost the same age, they don't change colour until they're seven years or so, is here and is doing things with the bower and is learning dance and song and the whole ritual. What's we've done this before? We've uh, I, I made a film called Green Bowerbird Afternoon, which showed the extraordinary tenacity and intelligence, I think, of a green bird practicing and learning what life was all about as an adult male for about 20 minutes. This film was actually 45 minutes long, and I think there is some evolution and improvement in the dance behaviour and the singing of this bird, because it might be a completely different male green satin bird, uh, but you can make your own judgement about that. It's also interesting in, that as we will see fairly soon, the relationship between the male, the, the, other, the mature male and this um, black plumed green bird uh, is not as adversarial as in the last one. In the last one we had a male who seemed to, our male, the boss male, who seemed to be trying to practice courting with what seemed to be female and some of these other probably seemingly male green birds, juveniles, were uh, not just looking at their courtship, which was a bit uh, difficult for the female particularly, but also they seem to be not wanting a mature bird to really have a nice quiet time. Um, so here we still have just the green bird working on the bear. In a moment the black male satin bird will turn up. Oh. We've moved into a second clip. These clips are three minutes long and they have a minimum of 10 seconds apart. It helps to keep me sane and helps generally with the editing that we have these little blocks. An SD card of 16 gigabytes can hold uh, maybe about an hour at maximum of these clips. And that's hard enough to work. Here he is, he has arrived. And you saw the alert behaviour of a green bird in scooting off. But has now come round into the upper long to watch what the blackbird does. And of course the blackbird is going to do a bit of performance. I wish we'll have to see what happens here. Greenbird has a great desire to pose up on these sticks here for the camera.
Now the green bird has returned and I should help those who may be impatient with the fact that the film is now coming up six minutes long. We're at the end of the second three minute clip. And the film will now consist of the green bird doing the things he wants to do for all the time way out till about 42 minutes in this movie where I think what happens is that the uh, blackbird comes and sits on the chair, the wire top of the chair above the camera and the green bird clears off. But it's not a very conflicted relationship as you will have seen. And it's obvious that the blackbird is not persistently vigilant about custody of the bar. It's also interesting, I think, that where the literature and the observation suggests that the male bird has applied his saliva to the stalks in his bower and that one of the things that the females do is come and sample the bower saliva with um, at least one other bird like this one salivating over the sticks in the bower. It's not as straightforward really, this story, as the uh, mono relationship, mono possession concept of the bower would suggest it should be. Anyway, I think, frankly, that you've had enough of my commentary on this. You can read more at the blog, as well as seeing more of these movies at YouTube. The blog is called odimbar.blogspot.com O-D-I-M-B-A-R.blogspot.com and there will be some commentary there. But meanwhile, I'm going to, you would please know, shut up, and leave you to listen to this uh, character in all of his uh, fascinating performance.